Mark Reason, the All Blacks need another Richie. Opinion, Steve Hansen scoffed when Lions coach Warren Gatland suggested that some super rugby teams might not be far off the standard of a cold All Blacks. You're having a laugh, mate, claimed Hansen. But if Gatlan was trying out a few lines for Rag Week, how the hell then did a scratch barbarian's side give the All Blacks such a rattle at the weekend? It put me in mind of Bob Monkhouse's great line about hubris, when I first said I wanted to be a comedian, everybody laughed. Well, they're not laughing now. Much of New Zealand is certainly not laughing anymore. The current travails of the All Blacks are getting beyond a joke. There are the same problems every week. The attack comes off scrum and defense and not much else. And there is very little game control coming from nose 9 and 10. So it is quite bewildering that Richie Manga is not in this all black squad. This is a bloke who at the age of 23 has already guided teams to a super rugby title and a provincial title. Oh, sorry, I forgot. There is no comparison between Super Rugby and International Rugby. There certainly wasn't much comparison at Twickenham for 40 minutes because Monga completely outplayed Buden Barrett. The All Blacks No. 10 was not well served by TJ Paranaura, and we will come to that in a minute, but Barrett is still struggling with his game, something that started when the Crusaders rushed him earlier this year. The trouble is that the All Blacks are becoming predictable. When Barrett chipped a ball over the defense Andy Ellis was there almost before the ball had left his boot. And poor old Perina Ura. The All Blacks like to play a flat ball off their half-back in attack. But when your no-9 needs two steps before he releases the ball, then he is an interception waiting to happen. The Barbarians picked off Perina Ura twice in the first half, both eventually leading to tries. On the second occasion the All Blacks' attempt to plug the hole was not helped out by a terrible clearance kick from Barrett which gave the ball back to Julian Savia in full flight. There was certainly a marked difference in the standard of Maanga's kicking under extremists and Barrett's. Maanga has other strengths. He is the best N in New Zealand, perhaps now in the world, at taking the ball to the line. He is a big part of the reason why Ryan Crotty and Jack Goodhue have looked so good outside him this season. Monga's running was quite brilliant in the provincial final and he carried it on against the All Blacks. He is also one of the best touch finders off penalty kicks that I have ever seen. There are, of course, parts of his game that do not compare to Barrett's. He is not remotely in Barrett's class in the backfield. Monga spilled a high ball against the Lions, he did it again in the provincial final and he dropped two against the All Blacks, one of which led to a try. The first of those All Blacks kicks came from Lima Sapoga and the second from Tora Kerbarlo. The All Blacks game control improved out of sight when those two came on and the notion that Pranaura is a better test halfback than Kerbarlo is looking sillier by the day. Monga's defense is also a work on. Manga is brave and I am sure that some of his rush defense has improved since watching Owen Farrell and the Lions shut down the Crusaders. But when Manga gets his timing wrong, as he did against the All Blacks for Ngani La Mapes try, then he gets squared up in a high position and doesn't have time to adjust to make a low tackle. But like Leon McDonald and Brad Moore, I have no doubt that Manga is a future All Black, and potentially a great one. McDonald went so far as to say, there is a lot of Dan Carter about Richie Maanga. Very rarely do you see him rattled at all, at any level. It is not an extreme comparison although I suspect Maanga may never match Carter's greatness as a defender. When Maanga was called up as All Blacks cover in Brisbane, he ended up sitting in the stands and missing the provincial semi. After his man of the match performance in the final, Manga was prompted by the interviewer to say he had been inspired by his week with the All Blacks. His answer was revealing. Manga said, For me, having a week off and not being able to be with the boys, I was gutted, and to be back in this team, such a great culture, we all love each other, we all care. Now I don't know what you think, but that tells me a story of a young man who is not getting the same love in the All Blacks culture.
I'm not saying we are in the bad old back of the bus days, but you don't sense the same bond that slowly developed under Graham Henry and Richie McCaw. New Zealand has been in denial for months now, but surely it is time to recognize that the All Blacks are lacking game management in the pivotal positions. Barrett may have a fizzer against France and Perina Ura, if selected, may come on and win a few turnovers. But having let Aaron Cruden drift away, this tour was a chance for Hansen to see the future. Lucky for Hansen then that his old Crusaders muckers helped him out. Because the future just happened to be wearing a Barbarian's shirt.